the way um, I now start to coach people on giving feedback to other people when they um, sort of help them and coach new people is to focus on this idea that you are doing them a favor, that you are helping them be successful. If you are in the buffer bootcamp, that you are helping them to have a successful buffer bootcamp to set them up for success. And I think that mindset shift from like, I'm, I'm helping you, I'm expressing kindness to you, I'm, I'm doing something that will you know, be good for you in the long run, I think is really important because oftentimes feedback is seen as this friction point. It's like, you know, you, you jump on a call with someone and, and you're just like, how's it going? And it's great. And I'm doing this and doing that. And, and you, if you want to share, like, by the way, this one direction, I, I feel like doesn't feel good. It's a, it's a friction point that I feel like it's, it's important to recognize that there is friction when you bring that up, you know, no matter how you twist and turn it. So embracing that, the fact that it's friction, but embracing the fact that you're not sort of um, criticizing someone, but that you're actually here to help them um, be successful is, is, is something that uh, um, I think is really important. So some of the phrasing, some of the ways I like to phrase things now is I share, I start when I give feedback to people with, um, with the words, like for example, in bootcamp is one of the things I just want to help in terms of clarity for what we expect throughout the bootcamp is that it'd be good for you to ship, you know, three blog posts every week. And uh, what that does is actually, it mostly does, uh, it mostly helps me personally to uh, know that it helps me to, to, to get it out there, to, to get it out of, out of my system. And I think what it does for the recipient is actually to understand that there's a clear reason why this is shared because this is for, for the person's um, success to, to, to in their bootcamp or in general at buffer of what the expectations are. Yeah, another point, um, another really important point I think when it comes to giving feedback that I like to practice and coach people on is to give people to give feedback on people's behavior, not on people themselves. So, you know, if someone hasn't had a productive week, it doesn't mean they're not a productive person, right? It means they haven't had a productive week, right? And so, I think it's really key to say, hey, by the way, I think this week maybe something's come up, right? Like I feel like we haven't quite hit some of the things that we wanted to do. Um, you know, what's something we can change to make that better next week? This is something that I feel we feel like we want to improve our. Um, our expectations or we want to improve our, our results. Um, and so like those, the, combining that with sort of the nature of this is kindness and you almost have to learn that this is kindness. And then also with the idea of like um, uh, what sort of what I, what I just talked about, like that, that combination I think in my head creates oftentimes some of the best responses from people and also makes it easier for the person giving the feedback. So I think there's two things to, 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 to work on.